So what is going on, everybody? Today we're going to be breaking down Brian Kelleher versus Journey Newsom. So this fight's going down in Ricky Simone versus Song Yidong, UFC Fight Night, Las Vegas. Uh, I think it's Ve UFC Vegas 72. And it's a good one, man. It's a good fight between pretty much two guys in their 30s, you know, at the Bantamweight division. Brian Kelleher is just the definition of a veteran. And we'll get into his fight against Journey Newsom here in a second. But quickly, I want to say, everybody, all of my bre breakdowns are going to be on UFC. Uh, all my breakdowns on UFC Fight Night Song and Dong versus um, Ricky Simone will be on my channel. It'll be on the playlist that I create for it. So if you guys do want to go back and please watch all the videos so you guys can be locked in on all of your predictions and picks for this weekend's Fight Night card, make sure you do so so you won't miss it. Also, subscribe if you're new and like the video as well because we're doing these prediction videos every week for these fights and a lot of boxing fights too to come. So, a lot of stuff to be on the horizon for. Anyways, breaking it down, man. Brian Kelleher versus Journey Newsom. Brian Kelleher is just a UFC veteran. That's just the truth of the matter. He's 36 years old. He's 24 and 14. He's 8 and 7 in the UFC. Let me just read off some of the, some of the names he's fought. His last fight... He lost against Mario Bautista. No, that might not sound like the greatest of names. He lost, though, rear naked choke in the first round. Before that, he took a fight against Umar Nurmagomedov. Yeah, that's right. He fought fought a guy when nobody wanted to fight him. And I, I, honestly, I'm not even listening, uh, listing some of his wins here. I'm just listing, you know, the big fights that he had against, you know, pretty, pretty big competition. Uh, the fight before Umar, another loss on his career. Ricky Simone, unanimous decision loss. But again, Ricky Simone, man. Before that, Cody Stamen, man. Cody Stamen. Also, he lost to Montel Quick Jackson by a darts choke in the first round after being hurt. He uh, he beat Odie Osborne by a guillotine in the first round. He also lost to John Lineker. He beat Hannon Burrell by a unanimous decision. He lost to Marlon Vera by armbar. And he beat Julio Arce two times outside of the UFC, even before getting into the UFC. The guy's the definition of a veteran. Never really had that breakthrough moment as of yet. Um, but journey New a win over Journey Newsom would put him in the right path. And, you know, just for Brian, he's just, you know, he's never got recognition, really, I don't feel like. And the guy's dangerous. He's a good veteran. He's got plenty of wins against high-level competition. And that's there's nothing but good things to say about Brian Kelleher. You know what I mean? The advantages in terms of experience and, and big fights, feels, and he's been on every stage. And, you know, he's going up against some of the most dangerous guys, even like Umar Nurmagomedov and uh, Montel Jackson, Marlon Chito Vera, some very dangerous guys he's fought fought against, you know. So he's not going to be very worried about fighting Journey Newsom in this fight. Uh, but moving on for Journey Newsom, man. The guy's 33 himself. Uh, he's had, a, I think, five fights in the UFC. Maybe four. I think he's like one, three, and one. I think he had a no contest. Yeah, yeah, he had a no contest against uh, Dominigo Pilate. So, Pilate. so that was a weird fight. Uh, anyways, though, moving on, he also lost his UFC debut to Ricardo Ramos by a unanimous decision. He got brutally KO'd by Randy Costa. Now, that fight was in 2020 on the Tyrone Woodley versus Colby Covington card. And after that, man, he took he took two years off, pretty much. He came back and fought Fernie Garcia, and he looked pretty good against Fernie Garcia. And he hurt Fernie Garcia in multiple times. So, you know, you kind of think, oh, maybe maybe the, you know, the hype's back on Journey Newsom because he looked really good in that fight, landed some insane blows, actually was landing some crazy spinning shots as well. So some pretty crazy shots overall for Journey Newsom landing. And you might be going, oh, wow, you know, Journey Newsom back on track. Well, right after that, he lost by unanimous decision to Sergey Morozov. So the hype kind of got ended right there. And, and again, Fernie Garcia, that's his only win in the UFC. You know what I mean? Brian Kelleher has much better wins than Fernie Garcia in the UFC. So in that sense, you know, if we're building this fight off a resume, Brian Kelleher should be on his way to picking up a fairly easy win. However, I believe styles make fights, and I think that this fight is not going to be going down like that. I, th I see Journey Newsom landing something crazy 
on Brian Kelleher, kind of like Montel Quick Jackson did to him. I forget what it was that hurt uh, that hurt him in that fight. I think it was an elbow against the cage while O'Brien was shooting in on a takedown, and then he landed ground and pound and locked up a, a Darce choke. But I see Journey Newsom doing something crazy and just maybe landing a spinning back fist into a spinning roundhouse kick, something crazy, some crazy shot. I feel like Journey Newsom is going to find, and he's going to find the shot, and he's going to get it done, I believe, in the second round. If not, he's going to wobble Brian Kelleher a couple times and maybe pick up a decision, but I see Journey Newsom, if he's going to win this fight, he's going to get it done by TKO in round number two, and I think that's his best way of victory, just by landing something crazy. He's got great kicks. He's going to try and keep this fight at a distance against Brian Kelleher, even though, you know, Brian's probably going to be taller than him. He's Journey Newsom's not the tallest of guys, but I see it going that way, and I see uh, Journey Newsom catching Brian Kelleher. Brian's a veteran, so, you know, he's been in there with guys, but, you know, he's also lost to guys like this. So so give me Journey Newsom to win this fight in a sl and an upset, I think. I think it's an upset. I think people are picking Brian Kelleher because of the resume, man. You can't, you know, you can't deny it. Losing to, even losing to guys like Umar Nurmaga Madoff, uh, Montel Jackson, Cody Stamen, uh, Ricky Simone, fighting Ode Osborne and beating him, Julio Arce, Marlon Chito Vera, you know, all these fights, that that builds character, and that is definitely going to, you know, teach you how to fight in certain situations, but I have got to go with Journey Newsom. He's coming off of just one loss against uh, Sergey Morozov, and for Brian Kelleher, he's coming off the loss to Mario Bautista, who Mario Bautista is good in his own right, but I have to go with Journey Newsom to win this fight by just something crazy. And you can't compare resumes because Brian Kelleher is going to easily win that battle. If you're just going off of the names he beat, I think, you know, you have to pick Brian Kelleher because it just only makes sense because of the experience. But I just think that it's not about that. I think something crazy is going to land for Journey Newsom and he's going to land this fight and win this fight by TKO in round number two. Let me know how you guys see this fight going. Again, I'm going to have all my predictions on every single fight from the first fight all the way to Ricky Simone versus Song Dong. So make sure you guys stay tuned on this channel in the coming days. We're going to have videos on all of these fights coming up. And make sure you guys watch and like and subscribe. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next one.